run a research group on nanoscience. I have worked on the chemistry and physics of nanomaterials for more than a decade. And current research projects in the group are effectively related to the three areas of the group, basically prototyping nanomaterial synthesis, biophysics, and biomedical research. In the area of prototyping uh, nanomaterials, two of the core projects currently funded. One is for solid state lighting based upon earth abundant materials. So replacing the lanthanides and the rare earths. Big picture goal, how do I replace compact fluorescent lights with a more energy efficient, uh, brighter source? General ideas of our research are how do you prototype these materials? How do you prepare them in large quantities for applications towards technology. The other side of the prototype group is making magnetic materials. We need to improve the efficiency of motors and we, to do this we need to reduce the cost and weight of the magnet and so using these hard soft spring exchange magnets allow us to do that. And so we call these materials quantum dots because their optical properties depend on the size of that material. We take cells, modify those cells with the particles so that they can be imaged when injected into an animal to track to a site of injury. And the specific target we have is in traumatic brain injury, so effectively a concussion, where we can actually deliver cells that have been modified by the particles to induce repair. In biophysics, as I said, what we're looking at is development of metals that can probe structures in biology. So think of it as the folding of RNA or the folding of DNA. We can actually watch that process in real time. My real goal for students is to treat them like a colleague. I see them as an equal. It is an internship. They're learning. But what I want to do is develop you to the level that you so well understand your research that you can go and give a presentation in your second year. By the time you're a third year student, you're talking as if you were a postdoc. 